So you're in the mood to transpose some MIDI and you've played your part and you want to select all of it by double clicking on one of these notes in the quick scribe editor. Of course you can do this in any of the MIDI editors within DP, you know the MIDI editor or the drum editor or the sequence editor. And what we're going to do now is press command 9 and this is going to bring up our transpose window. And as you can see, you can transpose MIDI, and you can also transpose audio. And this is useful if you've selected maybe the whole sequence itself, including the audio, and you want to transpose it all. Or if you just want to transpose track by track. We'll take a look at this in another tutorial. So let's uncheck transpose audio, and we're just going to transpose this MIDI. Let's go ahead and listen to what we have first. Here's a selection. And you know what? I want to change that to E3. So we're going to press Apply. Take a listen. Now that's pretty straightforward, right? We're going to undo that and we're going to do something else. We're going to select just these notes. I'm going to hold the Shift down as I'm selecting them, just clicking on them. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to press Command 9 again and we're going to harmonize, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the diatonic section here and tell the computer that we are an A natural minor and we're going to harmonize up by six scale degrees. Check this out. Now take a listen. Totally reharmonized and jazzed up those chords, right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to undo this again and we're going to keep going with this. We're going to select everything again by double clicking and we're going to press command 9 again and now what we're going to do is we're going to change the entire scale of everything. Now this is really cool. We're going to tell the computer that we're in A natural minor and we're going to change it to A Lydian. Now make sure though that you uncheck this harmonize because then you won't have good results, right? Press apply and now take a listen. And we've basically created another section to my performance. So we're going to do one more thing here and we're going to go to our custom map and tell the computer that you know we have 12 notes and we want to make our scale a five note scale and that's what we're going to do. We're going to limit the notes that are possible. We can also save this custom map if we like but we're not going to do that. I'm going to press apply now take a listen. It's kind of a little classical, a little abstract jazz, but you get the idea. It could be extremely useful and I hope you use it.